hello guys welcome to the channel once again the name is goro boy so here in today's tutorial we are taking a look on passcode iphone and available or the disable screen so if you do have one of these devices i'm going to show you how to fix it so we, without wasting my time we switch to the computer so on our computer right over here we need to download this to call the program text file or the program disk pro version onto our desktop so open your browser and in your browser just download the program Dex version 2.5 and the link will be in this video description so make sure to download and after downloading you can close from your browser and move on to extract the program Dex file so after extracting you should have a folder like this on your desktop or download folder now move into the folder and run the program Dex pro version and wait for it to launch and in the tool i'll show you all the instructions on how to use it on passcode devices so here we have the tool and i will have to connect my device to the computer okay so let me connect my device and here comes my device so it already been plugged in so i'll have to unplug and plug it in again so when you do plug it in you will see um usb restriction on your device so you should put your device into recovery mode or dfu so if you know how to get your device into dfu you can put your device into dfu so after that block should detect your device and you will see your device ecid and product type so you can now move to options and make sure to check one one of these options which is the checkering or the passcode bypass ramdex method and the passcode bypass checkering method which is the checkering method for the ios 12 to 14 and the ramdex method for the ios 16 uh, 15 to 16 so we are on ios 15 we check the ramdex method so after doing so we copy our ecid and we register our ecid for free so copy it and after copying your ecid click on ok and click register now and you should take be taken to the registration panel paste in your ecid and now click on register and wait for your device ecid to be registered so here i have my ecid being registered so now we can move back to the tool and begin the unlock so if you your device is not showing device ecid registered you can plug your device and plug it in but when you click on start you will not be prompt to register your ecid so now we should know the key combination for our device to get into dfu so mine i'll use the bottom key or the home key plus the side button which is the power key so for other devices you use the volume down and side key so after noticing this click on start and wait for your device to get into dfu and when your device gets into dfu you will have a black screen and now we can proceed to um boot device by before that we have to make sure you check this option which says ios 16 devices so if you are only on ios 16 devices you check that option so after checking this option we can now proceed to download the boot or the ramdex file for our device so click on this link right over here and it should take you to the download download page for you to download your file so here we have the ramdex file so if you are on ios 16 make sure to open the ios 16 folder so for ios 15 also open this folder so use the recommended for the ios 15 folder so i will download ios 15 since my device is on ios 15 so we have a bunch of ramdex right over here so you just have to move to program this and know your device type and then use the device type name to come in back to the download page and download the the exact name in program this so you see the device type right over here so let's move to the download page and locate the the ram this file for our device so our our iphone is iphone 8.2 so we have to download the exact name for our device so wait for the download to finish and after download has finished we will move the ramdex file into a respective folder in the broke folder so move to lab and that lab move into the boot folder and in this boot folder we place the ios 15 ramdex file into ios 15 folder and for ios 16 you put your ramdex file into ios 16 folder so that's it after doing that click on start and 
um, when you are on iOS 16, please make sure to check the iOS 16 box before you do click on boot device. So here we are all on the iOS 15, so we just have to click boot device without checking the iOS 16 box. So if you are enjoying this video, make sure to give this video a like, share this video to friends, help them unlock their device. So unfortunately, we have an error right over here. So this error is caused when you do have bad drivers to boot the RAM disk onto your device. So to do this, we have to fix drivers. Unfortunately, Brook did not provide this in S2. So we just have to use this win rain to fix our drivers. And after fixing drivers, we will move back to Brook RAM disk. So we hope in future in Brook, we'll add the fixed drivers in the boot RAM disk page. So here we successfully connected to SSH after fixing drivers. So now we can click on OK and begin to backup our device. So we just have to click on backup i device to get our backup files. So after getting our backup files, we have to erase the device. So here you see we have successfully backup our um, activation files. So we can now proceed to erase. And when we do check the backup files, you do see your backup file in zip file which is being named after your ecid name so here i do have my backup file so i can proceed to erase my device so the erase should take a few minutes of your time so just click erase device and then wait for the device to be erased so uh, whilst we wait for the device to be erased please make sure to use the comment section to report any errors that you do face and I will try my impossible best to assist you. So after erasing the device, you will be prompted to your previous Apple ID. So if you do remember your previous Apple ID, just input your Apple ID and password to get your iPhone or iPad OS being activated. So if you do not know, you can just proceed to follow the same step that I'm going to do in this video by putting your device in recovery mode same as the same method we did to get our backup files so when your device get into recovery mode just have to, you just have to move to the option again and make sure to check the right passcode method that we are going to use so here we are using the same ramdex method but you do you know you can use the check -in method after you've successfully getting the backup files of your device if you can use that after jailbreaking your device then you just use the check -in method so here we are using the same ramdex method so we go through the same steps by booting the ramdex file so if you do have any errors unable to connect to ssh mode then you can fix drivers and proceed again so click on ok now we will have to activate the device using the activate i device so click on activate i device and make sure that skip setup is also being checked and if it is not being checked make sure to to check that box and after checking that box you can click on activate i device so just wait and this should take a few seconds to get your device activated so if you are enjoying this video a sub to the channel will be appreciated from you guys and also make sure to share this video to your friends and colleagues on how to fix their own devices not someone else device so that's it we've successfully activated our device and you can see our device is on the lock screen and when you do proceed you can see that you can we have the option to make calls receive calls on these devices pass code bypass offers you by password pass a uh, signal so you can make calls and receive calls sign in into your apple id or create new apple id and that's it for today's tutorial thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel the name is gurubot so in this i will leave all the links in this video in my video description so make sure to check this video description for all all necessary files and you can see that i'm placing calls right over here and calls do work and facetime do not work on some devices so facetime iMessage do not work on some devices so your series should also work fine with no problem so that was it for today's tutorial make sure to subscribe if you are new give a like to this video also share this video leave your comment on any problem thanks for watching peace out